So this catapult from through night puts out a lot of light. The most impressive thing about it is the throw on this thing. This is the one that looks like the club, guys. It's very substantial looking. It's got great texturing on it and stuff. It throws out 1,050 lumens, but the biggest thing is the distance of the throw. So we're gonna try to go up this hill. I'll show it a little bit. Yep. Can you actually see that with your night vision? Yep. Fantastic. All right, so we're gonna go past the target to the mountain and then going up. It goes all the way up to spotlight those trees up there. It's amazing the throw on this thing, which I think is the most impressive thing about the flashlight. They say, you know, it looks like it can be used as a club and stuff, but we're gonna test it a little bit to see if it can hold up to that kind of abuse. But the throw is really fantastic. I was using it to, uh, let me try to change modes. It has buttons for modes. So the back button right there is the on and off switch. And then this one up here changes the modes. So you can go down to a low. If you're looking at things up close, you can go to a low mode. And as you shine it towards the target, it goes from low to medium, to high. And then I think it's like they're super high. So that part is pretty impressive. But I, I've had the flashlight in my vehicle um, for the last couple months. And unfortunately, I think as I'm driving the vehicle, somehow um, the buttons are being depressed because both times I went to go check on it once to come out here and film the video a couple weeks ago, the flashlight was completely dead. So I think if it's going to be in a vehicle, it's going to have to be in an area that's secure enough that the flashlight does not move around. That way, the battery, when you go to use it, the battery's not dead because it happened to me twice. So it's unlike our other through night uh, flashlights, which have tail caps on the end, which kind of have a... Um, a They're protected. Protect yeah, it's protected. Exactly. So it's, it almost has a spot for it, like the traditional flashlights that we really like. And so your tail cap right here would be protected from accidentally being activated or not activated. So I think what was happening is somehow it was being activated inside of our vehicle by pushing against these buttons right here and activating the flashlight. Because even if this one's powered off, which it is right now, it's powered off. If this button gets pushed, it goes to that mode. Yeah, it goes into strobe. Yeah. It goes in a strobe so you could see why even if that button was activated the flashlight wouldn't last very long until the batteries were done so let's you want to do some torture testing with it yeah go for it okay i'm going to take off my hearing protection sorry guys for some of the blurriness with the camera sometimes it doesn't like to focus yeah especially at night, night right? so i'm just going to put this stuff down right now <clears throat> Okay, so let's see what we got here. We have it on uh, high mode. I'm just gonna toss it in that direction. Yeah. Sounded like an animal coming up. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> toss it over that direction right there. We'll see how it does. Don't let it focus. There you go. It's a heavy flashlight, so here it goes. Didn't break, it's running. Running just fine. It's really dirty now. I wanna try a couple throws out. Let's move a little bit closer over this direction. Okay, let's turn around right there and I'll throw it back towards the vehicle and the guns and stuff. Maybe it is very durable. <coughs> well, I will tell you, it looks like the exterior is holding up quite well to that abuse. 
Whoops, I just turned it off myself. Go through all the modes. Everything seems to be working. The throw going up the tree. Wow, the throw is just amazing. So what about a hard impact to the head of the flashlight? Yeah, you're talking about its use as being a weapon, but it's it's definitely heavy enough to be used as a weapon. You know, if you hit somebody with it. Oh. <laughs> it looked like it went off for a second there. Okay. All right, let's show that again, because well, I didn't get it very well. <laughs> I hit it hard against Sarah. Flashlight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Some real good damage right there, next to the switches. Yeah. All right, do it again. <laughs> this time I need to get it on camera. Go. All right. I'm just gonna slam it down into the ground as if I was striking something or somebody. Ready? Go. Yep. Hold on. It's taking some Real good damage here. There you go, it's focused now. Yep. All right, um, I think you should smack it straight into the ground one more time. But uh, in, instead of throwing it to the ground, actually hit it into the ground. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay, looks like I dented it a little bit, but it's still working. It's still freaking working. Yep. I'm gonna go the direction that the flashlight's pointed right there. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> and this is why you bring backup flashlights. Glass is not broken. Let's see if it just turned itself off. Okay, let's see. Hold on, hold on, did you press the... There it is. It's back on. All right, guys, I'm going to say it passed the torture test. The only thing I didn't do is run it over with my vehicle. But uh, we'll <laughs> let's get... Let's do a... that. Yeah. We'll <laughs> I'm get... serious. You want to? Yeah, might as well. All right. It's supposed to be one of the most durable flashlights they offer. Okay, so it's on. I really don't want to run over the switch gear. Yeah. So we'll turn it to the side just like that. You ready? Go. And back up over it. Hold on, hold on. Back up over it. Yeah, I know. Back up over it though. My door is open. BMW won't let you do that. Hold on. <laughs> oh. oh my god. So it turned back on when you went in reverse. It hit the on switch? I guess so. <laughs> this flashlight's resilient. <laughs> so I drove over and it turned off, and then I drove back over and it turned back on? Yep. Hold on, you gotta let it focus to see that damage. So the glass is still intact here. I didn't run over the face of the glass, of course. I ran over the body right about where the switch modes and stuff were. But I did turn the switch mode sideways. It turned itself off. But it is back to working. Yep. On and off works. All the modes. It's a pretty durable working. flashlight. Yeah. So I think that's the final on it is that it's a very durable flashlight and they did, you know, or at least some people were suggesting that it could be used as a weapon. I mean, it looks like a club and it kind of acts like a club. Yeah. So 
for for them you know talking about that or or saying that. i'm not sure about their advertising if they actually say it can be used as that but i was wondering it i know i was wondering if it could be right from the get-go and i guess the answer is yes and the answer is that it is as durable as the smaller ones so if you're in for something a little bit larger um, you're used to that larger flashlight be it with a you know with gun use or just around the house um, definitely it's a great flashlight for what it throws and stuff and again just ultra durable it runs on two 18 650s or four cr 123s and it's about the size of a mag light yeah and i think that's kind of what the idea was i really know. did think that those switches were going to break guys I didn't think that they, that it was very tough, and I thought that it was gonna break and disconnect from the uh, flashlight, and you know it wasn't gonna work anymore. But the switches still work. Yeah. Flashlight turns on and off. Pretty yeah. outstanding. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video on the catapult flashlight. It gets a pass. It's uh, it holds up to the torture test. Yep. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember, your Second Amendment is worth protecting.